bi gbogbo ile yo ba se ke nikan ba so pe won ni kan ni wole pe ko si wole kankan won ni wole eyo kan lowo ni ni oniga ori re buru lo n de ni isu ti ba ti e je ko mo e si lo nse o ya were ni cha yo mo pe oni mental okay 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 oni mental ke yan ma gbo bi aja ke yan ma gbo bi elede o ya were ni ira se se won baba won yi Okay, eje ka ti e so se oso fa se bi ti e ni gba yi e ah ah o ti ton Welcome once again to this channel still on the Nostradamus of our time as he is called self acclaimed prophet Marcus Tibetan and on the other side we have prophet Adebayo now the first prophet tibeto he he's a white garment prophet celestial church of christ whilst the other prophet adebayo he has his roots in christ apostolic church cac if you have been on this channel for a while you probably must have um, listened and watched um, you must have listened to analysis and watched a lot about both of them both of them now the bald prophet he he is a controversial person and there are certain things that he has said that uh, got a lot of people interested in him he often lambast politicians and is not a friend to any known popular pastor in nigeria he got to a point people said wait hold on a second are you the only saint are you the holiest in Even nigeria he said yes he is now you heard at the beginning but for those who probably no, sir, that, the, the prophet claimed according to prophet adebayo that there is only one prophet only one prophet and oftentimes you hear the prophet brag about this saying is this pastor a prophet is that one a prophet i am a prophet i am a true prophet he's not the only one I've heard from some other Pentecostal prophet, although one of them not Nigeria, is called Hubert Angel. He said God told him that there are only seven prophets. <laughs> well, he said there are seers, and uh, he said a lot of things. Anyway, let us listen to what Prophet Adebayo has to say because he has some explosive to deliver to us on Prophet Marcos Tibetan. At the end of the day, this is going to be a tough spiritual battle yeah a tough spiritual battle both of them they are obviously watching each other's back you know watching each other's side like this one let us see how you will get me down both of them at each other's neck let, let me put it that way <laughs> pe ko si wole kankan won le wole eyo kan lo wa ni ni oniga ori re buru lo n de ni isu ti ba ti e je ko mo e si lo nse o ya were ni cha yo mo pe oni mental okay 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 oni mental ke yan ma gbo bi aja ke yan ma gbo bi elede o ya were ni ira se se won baba won yi okay e je ka ti e so she also fa se bi ti e ni gba yi e ah ah o ti ton ti tu me pe ni gba ite yi oni awon ike woli yi o po mo sora awon di olorun to ti ye yin nisin iru e le ni te so yen bi gbogbo ile yo ba se ke nikan ba so pe won ni kan ni woli pe ko si woli kankan won le woli eyo kan lo wa ni ni oniga ori re buru lo n de ni ฉุติบาติเอเจโกมาเอซิโลนเซโอยาเวรีนี่ชาโยมอโกนิเมนตาโอเคโอเคโอเคโอนิเมนตาเคยามาโกบิอาจาเคยามาโกบิเอเลเ
journalist yen omo yin ya sabi pe ibi to ti gbagbara pe kiti pupa ni mo so lai boye gba o go gbagbo mo ni ibi to ti gbagbara be pupa ni oro asiri le ngbo to ja bo lenu asiri yen tu ile isegun adebayo yi o luwa gbogbo aso dele to so yen mi o so ni emi o kuku ni luwa se wo ni nje we ni se wa nu bi beli pe wo ni nje we se wo ni nje gbo ni ara eh ara ba je muslimi se eyan be kawe e o se ri baba ti o ba je pa won eyan to ba mi soro atawon eyan bi ru yin eyan olohun tan ni ya ti mo gbe dani se wo ni gbe bo ni ai mo ye awon eyan ni won pe mi ti won ba mi soro e ni ki play for se awon se asiri po pe mi gan te n ba soro yi awon woli e gbe to je sele to ba ya wo esun ni ni canada Ashire wa lo. Awon won bo awon bo bere. Awon bo bere. Awon se kini kan. Bo bere. Won ba ba da. Ba ba ba. Won ba je busun. Won ba ba on dosun. Won ba kini kan sun. Won ke e gbo bi ti won ti wa ya tori oro yen. Ibe yen yo ti ma pe o ba ba yen ri ba kan ba kan. E wo sa. E ba binu. Mo fe tu ashire ara mi fun yin. Emi ti mo ba yin joko e. Ti mo joko ti. Awon ashire le lo to ja bo lenu. Wo le se won ni ba yo. So ji yen le a ohi ru ere. mo pari so jito baba bu de o te ma pe e ma pa ajani ma yo awon be bu de un wo biri bi bi aja bi aja bi aja baba e mi kan lo lo emi ti mi o like o biri mo wa de ni to ngbon te lo biri bi aja o se le si mi le image Mo lo se revival. Revival yen mi, o mi titi 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 titi. Ene keji lori oke du ajinare, o lo ba ko si mi pe awon aje agbaye fe wa se pade ni ikere ekiti ni o lo suta. O lo ani mi o po won ran mi o fun mi ni ori ofe pe mi o gbodo gba. Baba agba du ade mi pe won awon aje agbaye ori pade yen se. Daddy omo meji ni won gba lowo mi tori e luwa o to wole su luwa o iye tu koja lo be ha baba oro asiri le ngbo to nja bo lenu wole isegun adebayo yo ninu ise oluwa ninu ile ajo gbagbo isa bo sun ti obirin ti ki nse yawo mi mi ti e la ya gba ye mi like obirin for not be se ri church ye mi o emi o fo obirin bere church Esa won be ni won ya po kigan. Hmm. Ni ofo be ni bere church. Ka wa so pe. Ah. Ke ni kan wa jade ko so pe ohun o bo be ni sun. Eh ohun o bo be ni sun. Ohun o se bayi ri. Yawo ore ode si Nigeria. Yawo o se Nigeria. Ko ba ba na sun. Ko bo ni sun. Ko ba ke ma ba mi. Iyawo gbere. Oko ase won. Idogbe. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, this started first when a blogger called Asabe Africa TV promoted Prophet Marcus Tibeto on his platform. Things didn't go well between both of them. Asabe, according to him, served Prophet Marcus diligently without even requesting full money. In between, he realized that Prophet Marcus was simply a user and that he was not kind. He muscled on them. And not so long ago, Prophet Marcus referred to Asabe, Africa, the blogger, as the horse that he rode to the palace. Well, that singular expression by Prophet Marcus to Beton showed to people and i'm sure people are not surprised because that is the same way prophet marcus speaks when he's um talking about other people be it politician and other pastors even in the white garment well a case came up 
And it was that of a young man who alleged that Prophet Marcus took huge amount of money off him. And the way the money disappeared into buying a land somewhere that he had not seen before. He, he said he can't just put his thumbs, his fingers on how this money disappeared. He wasn't conscious of it. And he said he believes that Prophet Marcus Tibeto used some voodoo or some spiritual manipulation to take this money. Well, here we have Prophet Adebayo that the blogger met in Tibetan's church. According to Prophet Adebayo, God sent him there to spring, to release those that Prophet Marcus had tied down. Now, back in those years, somehow, when Prophet Adebayo had some spiritual challenges, even though he was a prophet, or maybe he was about to be a prophet, I mean, practicing as a prophet, he said he had a cousin or a sister that referred him to Prophet Marcus Tibeto. He went there and today what he said about Prophet Tibeto shocked a lot of people like really? Really? Like seriously? He sort of cautioned people into embracing those that call themselves religious clerics. You have to be careful like what i've said in previous video you don't become their friend to a point where you cannot think for yourself because if you are being manipulated and the worst of this of it is this you see if you are not diligent enough if you consider them as god if you are blind and you don't have the spirit of the segment and you're always saying yes daddy yes daddy yes daddy i know this is going to be difficult what i'm going to say it is extremely difficult. It is not easy. When God, that is the one that God even called. When God turns his back on that prophet, or the prophet decided to turn his back against God, seeking for mundane things or seeking for other powers, maybe due to some atrocity that he committed and he realized that um, power is no more flowing, like he is not accurate. Because the Holy Spirit has left him. You, you will not know. You will not know. You will still keep seeing that manifestation in a certain way. Well, do not be too close to them. Keep them at arm's length. That is how you deal with those that wield supernatural power or you know, spiritual powers. Or want you to call them daddy, mommy, spiritual father, spiritual mother. You have to be careful around those people. Because it's easy for them to con you. It's easy for them to manipulate you. Is it easy for them to take advantage of you? Many of them will tell you, judge not. When it comes to their own sin and evil, or they will tell you, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. How dare you? They will cover everything with, leave it for God. This is their immunity. They are simply telling you, we are immune. And for, to, to further buttress, They are wrongdoing. And when I mean wrongdoing, I'm not, I, I don't mean just some simple little thing here and there. I'm talking about terrible things. Wicked things. Wicked things. They will say you should leave them for God. And they will quote Bible verses where this person spoke against, against Moses. And God struck the person because the person said this. How dare you? They will quote several Bible verses to let you know that they have immunity. Just like how your president, <laughs> governor, and some of your... Yeah, they do have immunity. There are certain things they can do, but they will have to be done with their office before they are tried. And because a prophet does not hang his or her boots, they will remain immune forever. That is what it is. Well, it depends on which Bible you are reading and how you are translating, interpreting what you... Um, read um, the Bible itself says that we should uh, call out all wickedness and evil that we should not embrace any evil and even in our secular life social life 
that when you see crime and you keep it, you have become an accomplice. So it's the same thing with the Bible. When you see your pastor involved in wicked act, call him out. Call him out. Call him out. That does not mean that you have done him any evil or whatever. So the reason I'm bringing this up is not to castigate either of the prophets or to say, oh, this one is more spiritually, um, you know, powerful than the other one. Or no, we are not trying to kind of um, put them against each other. No, that's not the purpose of this one. Um, although they do it themselves, you know, prophet uh, Tibetan is definitely going to res respond. Um, this, he has done this before in the past where he said uh, <laughs> a lot of things. But let, let us see all of this turns out to be. Drop your comment. Drop your comment. Like and share. What have been your experience? See you in the next update.